mostly on Pokemon Go. Another episode of Pokemon Go. For today's episode, we're gonna get to something a little special. We're gonna go on a late night Pokemon Go adventure. I know my boy Ali A did this, but we're gonna do it as well. He seemed to have a lot of fun with it. But first, we need to get some equipment. So this is what we're dealing with as our arsenal today. We've got a couple torches, uh, some for lighting and some for obviously making sure we don't step on any random things out there. Now let's go find some ghost Pokemon. Alrighty, we've got a nice full moon out tonight. That means we'll get some good haunters, right? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so we're just going through and we just met some people at Allure and they were telling us about this three-step glitch that's going on right now. Apparently, you can't find Pokemon after the new update. Apparently, everything shows up as three-step, nothing shows up as two or one-step, and we've got a Pikachu right here at three-step, but we don't think we're going to be able to find him. Um, we're just going around slowly to see if he'll literally just show up out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, it feels bad, man. Uh, three-step, not good. Don't don't rate at all. That's bad. Holy sh... That was quick, quick, quick. Kangaroo, where... Where'd he go? He was right in front of us. Where'd the kangaroo go? Killed him. No, you didn't. Nah, nah, he's back there. Out here finding wild Kangaskhans, boys. I think there might be a couple more up here. Dude, this looks so spooky on right. my phone. All right. Okay, so the theme of tonight is spooky, right? And we're at this local place, and uh, Billy, who you may remember from the vlogs, who came with me to New Zealand and whatnot, um, actually told us about this place a couple years ago, and he made it all like spooky. He told us that there was like a murder up here or something, so there, there isn't, but. Because if you put the car in neutral, you, it'll look like you're going up this hill. I'll show you guys what I mean. So as you can see, right ahead of us, it goes up a little bit. And uh, for some reason, we don't know why, if you put the car in neutral, it'll slowly go up this hill. It's weird. People think there's like magnets in the mountain or whatever. It's it's crazy. We'll show you guys. All right. Have a look. All right. We're neutral. All right. So we're in neutral. You got, the, you got your foot on the brake right now, yeah? I got my foot on the brake. All right. The, hand, the park brake's off. Yep, yep. Okay. So hands off the wheel. Hands off the wheel. Nothing. And I'm just straightening it up. All right. And off. Foot's off. We're, we're neutral. Happy. We're neutral. We're moving. And we're literally about to go up this hill. It looks so weird. Like, look. Nothing touching. Look, we're literally going up this hill right now. It doesn't make any sense. It's so freaky. And there's so many videos of it. It's like, like a map. We are going uphill right Yeah, we're going uphill for some reason. And we're gaining traction. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So we're out here in the middle of literally nowhere. Um, it's rural AF. And it, I don't know, it just looks so gloomy. There's like a tower up there. I hope we make it at the end of this video. Oh, we've actually got an egg hatching right now. That's so cool. We're right in the middle of nowhere. It looks scary, gloomy, but we've got an egg hatching, so we're all good here. Let's see what we get. Give us that Pikachu that we missed out on earlier today. Come on, do it for us. Come on. And Caterpie. Great. Oh, there's a Pokemon out here. Guess what we found? Zubat. There we go, catching a Zubat out in the, uh, just catching a Zubat out in the forest. Boy's gonna do a little bit of a trick shot. Our man here today isn't exactly digging the scenario that we're in, but he has to wait until we actually go out into the forest. That's happening next. I can go check it out. We almost hit a kangaroo. <laughs> we thought we did. We thought we, yeah, not, not good scenes here we today. We still could have hit. Fudge, man. Yeah, I think it just got a bump. No, it didn't. We didn't touch it. That was uh, very scary. Troubles of being an Australian, man. <laughs> well, there you go. Checks out. Wallabies are active in this area. Please slow down. What would you say if I told you guys that our local cemetery is a gym? Team Valor holding down the cemetery. Uh, sounds good. They've got a Clefable here. So yeah, let's take this gym off these guys in the cemetery. They're only like level 800, so we shouldn't have no problem with these guys. Like, look at Snorlax. Snorlax is gonna breeze through these guys. Wouldn't uh, be a spooky night of Pokemon Go 
if you want, at a cemetery battling. Granted, we're not out there in the fields, but I find that A, disrespectful, and B, scary AF, so we're not doing that. But I am gonna take down this gym. Hell yeah, boys. Alrighty, and it is done. Mr. Wolfles is taking down the gym, and the cemetery is ours to claim. It feels good but bad, but, but good. I never see any gyms yellow. I never see any. Can we fix this? Always red or blue. We're looking for Pokemon and Kangas. And Kangaskhan's to make it easy. All right, so we're about to head into the forest. We're switching up our cameraman though. Billy's Back. braving it out. I'm gonna chuck down an incense and a lure. Because we can't really look for Pokemon because of the new three step glitch. So we gotta be careful, but. You hear that? We're just out here grinding for the most part when I get these bubbles. There's a Pokestop here in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm kind of tempted to put a lure module down, but I'm a little scared because people might come out then and that might be very bait and you know, it's very late at night so we don't really do that. It's baited, hopefully no one finds us here. Just chilling out in the forest, catching some pokes. Because we can't really find any Pokemon with the three-step, two-step kind of issue. Ooh, right one. And this isn't bad. Okay, so right one's our first lure Pokemon. Um, you know, it, it's whatever. That's a metal apparently there. Come in. Alright, got ourselves an Eevee here coming up, which is actually good because we nearly have enough to get uh, a next one, which will probably be Vaporeon because the last one we've got. These guys are being difficult. Actually, I'm going to use my new Ultra Ball. Alright, there we go. Ultra Ball, Eevee, in the forest, middle of the night. What? What? It caught it, it caught it immediately. Maybe it doesn't need as many bounces? That's crazy. All the forest pokes coming out tonight. Alright, so we're abandoning our lore and we're going deep into the forest to try and see if we can find some rare pokes. I think it's a frog, not a cane thing. See right there? Which way do we want to go? It's an Eevee. It's an Eevee. We're still in range of the Pokestop. Alright, Eevee. Please be nice to me. I think we've got ourselves an Eevee in the forest. Billy, you didn't do that. You didn't have to do that, but you did it. Billy, there's a Fero here. There's a Fero. I've already caught one, but they're so cool. Here we go. Wild Fero in the middle of the forest. Let's do it, buddy. 545 
I thought he'd be higher than what I've got right now, but that's fine. Let's catch him. That could have been anything else, man. That had been like a, I don't know, something else that had been sick, but it had to be a Thero. He is being a cheeky one, though. He is just doing the whole run around. Here we go. Come on, Ultra Ball. One, two, three. All right, perfect. I wish that was a new Pokemon, but hey, it's at least a rare out in the forest where our lure was. Okay, so it hasn't exactly been the greatest night, but uh, we're going to post up here for just a little bit and uh, see if something else will come out of this lure. Another Caterpie, lit. Okay, so we're probably gonna wrap up our session here in the forest. Uh, my lure is done, and we found pretty much a bunch of Pokemon, nothing new though, unfortunately. But we do have enough Eevees that we've caught that we can go ahead and evolve one. Now, we're missing out on Vaporeon, and as you can see here, the Eevee that I've got here only has the move Dig, which should give us a Flareon. However, we can use this trick with the whole, if you name it after one of the Eevee brothers from the anime, you can get whatever you want, regardless of the move. Okay, so we've gone ahead and named the Eevee Rainer. I'm gonna go ahead and power it up one just first. Uh, we only have enough candies to do one level, so that's 14 extra. And uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves our last Eevee Lucian that we need, which is Vaporeon. And I have seen this tested several times on like Reddit and whatnot. I think Preston did a video on it as well. And you're guaranteed, even though regardless of the move, you can change the name, we're about to find out, I could be wrong, but this should turn into Vaporeon. Yep, there we go. That's It's proved. That is so crazy. I can't believe something like that from the anime got picked up in here. I wonder how many other Easter eggs are in this game. What level? 985? I'll take it. That's not too bad at all. So that's going to be our pretty much only new Pokemon for today, unfortunately. But uh, I hope you guys did go on to enjoy today's episode in the forest. If you guys did, let me know the like rating down below. And hopefully tomorrow we can come back and find some new Pokemon. Let's see how we go. Later, guys. Oh, 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 oh,